Morning. I'm gonna be honest, I had another video ready to go today, but I woke up extra early because I felt this one would be more important to you. You gotta see this new website that helps build your mid-journey prompts. Check it out, check how simple it is, and check out how sick these pictures are. You can find it at howtoleverageai.com slash midjourney prompt generator. I'll leave a link in the description. It'll ask you what you want to draw. You type in your subject, and it'll give you a list of prompts around that subject. It's a little all over the place, but I respect the results. And look at that, my favorite part. It starts with the imagined parameter. So you don't have to type that on Discord, you can just copy the whole prompt, paste it into Discord chat, hit enter, and that's that. It'll make the picture for you. I started with a superhero, then I went to some poetry, and then I went to a sports jersey after that. Let's take a look at them all. I'm not gonna lie, I don't understand all the words that were used in these prompts, like Gen X Soft Club. I'm not sure where that came from, I'm not really sure what it did to the picture. Pictures. Same with the word grifes here, I'm, I'm not sure, but I think the pictures are unique enough where you should try this yourself. Also, I use the aspect ratio of 4 by 5 for all of these pictures. I think it's my favorite one right now. Cheers, let's go through them. These are pretty good, I like number 4 a lot. Enchanting Arcade Digital Art Untextured. Malgoth. You can see I've already upscaled some of them. Those are going to be my favorite ones. But to be honest, I like most of them. These really impressed me. I think the use of psychedelic harsh colors and mermaid really brought this to life. Number three, she's so pretty. And number two, love the scales, love the flowing hair. Unreal. Now, I'm sure you've heard me say this before, I don't think you need prompts this long to get anything that resembles this, like including Cinema 4D and Octane render in the same prompt. I'm pretty sure it does not matter, you only need one of those. Nonetheless, this was all made by that generator, and we're going with it. Number one's pretty sick, right? Look how cool these are. Number two, that's... That's moody for sure. Side view. I was really impressed with this phrase, game asset. Keep an eye on that. These are pretty sick too, right? Sad, grainy, autochrome. Don't really know what that does. And what's interesting is octane render is included here, but these are not octane renders. I don't know. I feel like using this generator might confuse people about what really matters in a prompt. But if you've made thousands and thousands of images, I think this could be a lot of fun for you. Look at these. Number one stands out the most. I think that is what is meant by redshift rendering but don't quote me on that these are still pretty cool my mind was blown here look, look, how, look how sweet these are i think this comes from game asset and 8-bit at the end more importantly it doesn't mention an engine like unreal or octane which will give it that 3d vibe for sure i think i chose number two and number three but number four freaking awesome as well let's just upscale that now while we're at it cheers to that oh my god you just look at you see look at them Can't it prevent my voice from becoming high-pitched when looking at these no the lighting gets me every time goosebumps right now goosebumps number three batman is amazing but number one that's just so epic definitely not panoramic metal that might have come through wouldn't that be pretty cool if one day we can just capitalize words to give a little extra weight instead of making it multi-prompt i don't know i'm just thinking out loud yeah these are decent. What do you think? Oh my god, these, these blow me away. I've already seen these, but seeing them again still shocks me. These are so good, so powerful. And you know what? This is the first example of the poetry I tried. The agony of life. I really wondered what kind of words it would add after that. Because version 4 isn't the best with poetry, it kind of just turns it into like a poster or like a book cover most of the time. Whereas version 3 really had an idea for poetry. So I have to recommend using poetry with this generator you can get a lot out of it i actually like them all i should have upscaled one as well i really like that let's just do that now i'm really impressed that it kept the same face expression in all of the pictures i don't know how it did that because there's nothing in the prompt that says that maybe it's just the prompt the agony of life i don't know what futago is but keep that in mind that might be cool like this i think lens flare added a lot to this prompt vintage retro as well kind of bled the colors together i think Ooh. Oof, the agony of life. And look how much longer this prompt is. The poetry really brings out the facial expression. But then look at this one. Sublime cyber prep. 
diorama, contemporary realism, natural lighting ocean environment. Maybe that's why these don't really have facial expressions and it really went with poetry. This reminds me of version three, not in the look, but in the interpretation. Really sick stuff. Love number four. Dark nautical, one of my favorite words to use in mid journey. Here game asset is used again, but I don't really see how that applies. Mick bling, a great word. I don't think that it's anything to do with this prompt or picture, but that's okay. These are pretty sick. Big cyber paradism, matte painting, body shot, high contrast, radioactive, uh, I don't know. I really can't tell you which of these words matter to the prompt, but it's it's got emotion and I respect that. For some reason, dark nautical shows up again here. I don't know, still some great photos. I mean, number two is pretty epic. It's got the ship on the bottom, the ghostly figure up top. And you see it? Look at them. Oh, I don't, I almost don't want to say anything. Number one is so cool because it's this like, it's not a jellyfish. It's like uh, one of those. Ooh, 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 ooh. These are sick. The glow of the sunlight. Oh, my, I don't, I don't want to say anything. These are amazing. More poetic interpretation here. Fantastic stuff. Number one, unreal. You know, they can't all be winners. I don't like this one particular, but you know what? Now that I see them this morning, I do like them. Scratch that. This is a winner as well. Okay, this one, not so much. Hot pink magenta colors, probably overpowered this a little too much. All right, and then like I said, I tried a new Toronto Maple Leaf sports jersey. I really just wanted to see what the generator would add after that subject. And keep in mind, when you're looking for something specific, I don't think this generator is gonna be for you. Like looking for a new sports jersey, it's gonna add a bunch of stuff like Dark Paradise, Cowboy Shot, Figurine, Jazzy Colors, like not good. But for the other examples I tried, like poetry and something vague like a superhero, fantastic stuff. These obviously aren't bad. You get some pretty cool pictures, but it's, an it's not really what I was looking for. You do still get some good pictures. Like number four, that's sick. Number three too, really good. So here's the coolest part. I took one of these prompts, pasted it into ChatGPT, and asked it what it could learn from it. You, you gotta check this out. And I asked it, can you recreate the underlying structure? And it gives me this. The underlying structure of this prompt seems to be, and then it gives me this ad lib type set, subject, adjective, setting, art style, type of art, texture, visual style, presentation format, color scheme, subculture, lighting, realism level, detail, environment, software, and resolution. You have to say, what can we call that structure so you know what I want you to refer to? It says we can call that structure a creative prompt template or prompt structure for short. It gave me some unreal examples with this structure. I'll post that ablib version in the description of this video. And I want you to know, you don't have to fill out every single category. I think just picking and choosing maybe half of them or 75% of them could really get you something awesome. For instance, I don't think software and resolution matter that much, but some of the words it gave like watercolor painting, important. Portrait, not that much. Untextured, not that much. Dreamy gallery, pastel colors indicating the palette super important cyberpunk and neon pretty powerful starry night cosmic realm amazing mixed media and 4k probably not that important look at these Ooh, it's funny it'll include something like 1080p resolution i left that in there because i wanted to know what would happen i don't think it ruined the picture in any way i don't i don't think it did anything but you might want to exclude that from your prompt because if it did do anything it's only gonna make it worse than what it could be but i thought these were pretty epic number two that's amazing these are super beautiful check out that black in number three oof okay here's one thing i want you to understand about what i just did sometimes you'll ask chat gbt for that prompt structure again and it'll give you something quite different so it's not a perfect solution it's not a perfect process put simply i asked for another example this time about ninjas and look what it wrote this is quite long i'm not going to read the whole thing you can pause the video and check it out yourself but it wrote like a paragraph right illuminated only by the soft glow of a full moon, ready to embark on a dangerous mission. The scene is depicted in a highly stylized graphic art style featuring bold lines, dramatic angles, and a monochromatic color palette of deep moody blues and stark contrasting whites. Well, that's interesting that that didn't come through in the prompt, but most of the other things did. The ninja's intense focus and unwavering determination is palpable, evoking a sense of tension and anticipation in the viewer, as if they're about to witness a thrilling
thrilling action sequence unfold before their very eyes. That's fairly true. I mean, look how good these pictures are. These are stunning. I, I couldn't believe what I saw. Just wanted you to see that sometimes ChatGPT will kind of go off on a tangent and really get poetic with it. Nonetheless, I hope you have fun with that generator. I'll leave a link to it in the description. I'll also leave the ad lib version of the prompt in the description. I hope you're doing well. Take care. I'll see you next time.